Dr. Andre Pinesett, the Premier Productivity Expert, is here again for you guys. Now, this is not a specific question you guys have submitted, but you guys submit enough questions for me to want to talk about this subject. And that is, how do you talk to someone you want advice from, someone you want to mentor you, or someone you want to help you in some way? So it's a professor, it's a research advisor, it's whatever it might be. <laughs> I say that I get enough emails from you guys to want to address the subject, and that you guys have to understand, before someone who you want help from can help you, they have to want to help you. And in order to want to help you, I have to care about you. And a great quote is, before I can care about you, I have to know you care. And sometimes we don't do a great job when we're asking for help of reflecting to that person that we really care about this and we really need the help. And it's goes for anybody you're contacting, but I'm gonna use examples that I've gotten for you guys to learn from and what not to do. For starters, okay, I get emails with no subject. You don't have time to write a subject, tell me what I'm getting into. That tells me you don't have, right, you haven't really thought this through and you don't know why you're contacting me. Then I open up the email and I get no salutation, no hi, no hey, no hello, right? And when I do sometimes, it's Dr. Pensetti with an E on the end, it's not how you spell my name. It's, hey, Andre, which is fine, but sometimes you guys do that to your professors where it's not fine. I don't care if you call me Andre, but for your professors, they're going to want that doctor up front, so make sure you're not calling them by their first name. Then when you get to the body of your email, whenever you're contacting someone about something, please be well-versed in it. Like, have done some basic research and have some understanding of it. Don't ask me, what are the molecules of water, right? Oh, is it, I think it's hydrogen or something. What is it? It takes two seconds to look up. People will email me. 50 questions. Of the 50 questions, probably 40 of them will be easily answered from one of my videos. What that tells me is that they haven't been thorough and they said to themselves, ooh, I like the 10 seconds I've seen of this one video and I want all this advice from this guy. If you want advice from me, why would you not go through my entire channel and take all the free advice that's on there available to you 24 seven before contacting me? And then we don't have to spend time on basic stuff, we can go to the advanced things. One example is I got an email from someone, this is truth. I got an email from someone the other day who was asking me what my number one tip was for doing well in the MCAT. Now, you guys who have been on my channel, you know I have a video that's called number one key to acing the MCAT. So if they send me that email, what do I know? They have not seen that video, they have not been through my YouTube channel taking in all the knowledge. So what do I do? I just direct them to that video. Now they wasted their question getting a video. When if they would have taken the time to watch the video, then we could have expanded and had a longer discussion and actually had a high level question in that. So they could have said, you know, I watched your video. I got what you're saying. This is my scenario. How do I make those two come together so that I can do well in the MCAT? Oh, okay. Now it's a higher level question. You can get a high level answer. I think they will plan out your studying this way. Grab this, right? We can put some pieces together. They're actually gonna help you. So you're helping yourself by actually doing the research. And so I, I advise you guys to do that. Take the time and do research. Don't send your professors emails, right, when you're asking for help and say, hey, listen, I've missed class three weeks. Tell me what's been talked about. You should have gone to the syllabus, looked at specific topics, tried to read the book first, then asked what you missed, right? Or what can they help you with? That's how you do it. You need to take the time and do the research yourself some, right? Know something about the process. We're gonna continue that, right? You're going through all these statements, you get to the end of the email, don't leave it blank. Take a second, a thanks, thank you, I appreciate it, it means a lot, blah, 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 and give me your name. I get emails, there's no name in the entire email, this person has sent me their entire life story, right? Transcripts, GPA, transcripts, CV, resume, everything, no salutation, I don't know what their name is. If it wasn't on the transcript, I wouldn't know what their name was. Take the time and do those little extra steps because it will help you tremendously. The other thing I would say is in general in your life, research opportunities, interviews, an email is great. What's better is your face, right? It's personal. Show up places, right? If you want a research opportunity, go show up at the lab. If you want mentorship help, figure out how you can meet that person and say, hello, my name is such and such. It's nice to meet you. Here's why I'm asking your help, right? It brings, it makes it personal. It makes that person care about you and then they can care about what's going to happen to you. That's how you get the best help, the best advice, how you move forward in your career. That's how you network, right? Is making people feel like you care about them. You can't just go through the motions and send the skeleton, you know, 
poorly thought out, no personality at all email, you're not going to get the response you want from people. So that's the advice for tonight. Let me know if you like this video. Hit that thumbs up and like this video, guys. Let me know what kind of videos you want by doing that and also commenting. Lastly, check out dominatepremed.com. Awesome courses on there for pre-med advice. Tomorrow, I am launching pre-med study success program, the five pillars of how to study less and get better grades. Don't you want to do that? Study less, get better grades? Sounds amazing. Take that course. First 10 people to sign up, get a free hour of consultation with me. You don't want to miss that. So sign up. The link is in the uh, content box on the bottom here. Thank you guys. Have a good night.